Freedy's pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. Freedy is very, very good. Here's what Altuve was doing. He was monkeying with Cabrera. Got him back. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Yell now. Down there at third with one out. He gets a chance to mess with uh, Adrian Beltre a little bit. Tory Hunter coming out. Even though Martinez didn't get a hit on that, he did what he was expecting what he needed to do was get that runner to third base with less than two outs. So his job in that situation is to pull the ball, and he was able to get it done. It could be Friday as the A's will not have an off day before the Angels come to town. It's hit well to center. Young is back. He's at the wall, and he leaps up, and he makes the catch. He had enough time to get back. He timed his jump perfectly. And he took one back. Well, and Colon, a few more choice words for it. Pujols as he ran back across the mound area. But you're right. And this swing by Pujols, and maybe just simply at 2 0, what type of a pitch is he going to get? Well, straightaway center. He pulls it. It's an easy home run. And Chris Young at the warning track. And you're right. Jumped up. It's a very short wall. So we've seen Mike Trout, Peter Borges, but this one also looked like it had a chance to get over the fence, but so why I had plenty of time to get back. Swings at the first pitch, fouls it out there. Facing the second level. But I, I really think that when you're facing a pitcher like Bartolo Colon, and even CJ Wilson last night and Jared Weaver, pitchers who can throw different pitches in a hitter's count can't be overly aggressive and jump out and try to pull a pitch that Case of pool holes hit it the deepest part of the park. <laughs> the last two or three triples have been the left center field, and he's a right handed batter. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen to him. Well, on the second, they get one. That's all they'll get. The sliding Beltre is forced out. Rios at first now with one away. <laughs> Kind of booing Cabrera because uh, he and Beltre are going back and forth, and they're they're playing with each other. The fans couldn't just, fans they, couldn't see the smiles; right. they saw the no. push. <laughs> 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 fans say, "You can't do that to our guy." <laughs> After the first hit, Albert Pujols tried to pick him off first base. They smacked him in the head. <laughs> They talk a lot more than people in Washington talk at times <laughs> over major problems. Outside for ball one. Going away two and two. Well, Tease ought to start a new show called Poppy Talk. We could have it right here on Nesson. Oh, come back. Flips the ball to Beltre. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maintaining their five to three lead, Adrian Beltre after chasing away Elvis Andrews on that pop-up. <laughs> they pretty much have a running running dialogue the whole game. Yeah. And be, between innings, I don't know what Elvis said to him, but he said something, then ran away. Adrian threw his glove at him between innings, hit him in the back. The umpire just started laughing like crazy out there. Well, who's the second base umpire? Jim Joyce. <laughs> oh, you missed it. He was just—he was just about ready to fire the glove at him. Watch, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Thank you, Todd, for the great moments and memories. We wish you all the best as you begin the next chapter in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please direct your attention to Rocky's vision. A few months ago, Todd gave his oldest daughter, Tierney Faith, a horse for her to ride on their ranch. We all know that you need more than one horse on a ranch, so at this time, the Rockies organization would like to present to Todd a retirement gift to add to his stable. Tonight, the organization presents the first baseman turned rancher, this beautiful black and white six-year-old Tobiano Gelding paint horse. He goes by the name A True bust -a -Moo. He's a three-time world champion, much like Todd's three gold gloves, and he's from one of the leading performance sires of the American Paint Association. A True bust -a -Move is comfortable competing from world-class competition to recreational riding, ranching, and roping. The American Paint Horse has a history unlike any other breed in the world. Once disregarded by some for its bold markings, that very characteristic makes each paint horse a one-of-a-kind favorite with thousands. The American Paint Horse's combination of color and stock horse conformation is not the breed's only noteworthy attribute, 